I'm standing here in the centre of a major temple and bath complex and what makes this site unique is its waters and we know from analysis of the waters that the waters have come from probably the Mendips and it has filtered down through the limestone which originally would have been the seabed hundreds of millions of years ago and it travelled a huge way to end up underneath Bath, probably about 2.5 kilometres beneath the surface of Bath and it heats up to temperatures of around 96 degrees and then it starts rising up again and it forces its way up through fractures and then comes out here in this spot and it is the only hot spring in Britain. When the Romans arrived it would have looked a very different place. Obviously it wasn't surrounded by buildings and it would have been just water bubbling up through a, a sort of gravelly surface. It, it would have been steaming because of the temperature of the water so it would have been quite a magical place. The spring water is made up of around 43 minerals. It contains sulphur, which is what gives it its unique smell, iron, which is why all the stonework gets stained that brownie orange colour that you see. Lots of sodium, so lots of salts, magnesium, uh, sulphate, and lots of other things. The spring is where people visiting the site would have made offerings to the goddess. There are lots of different offerings that have come out of that spring lots of coins, lots of pewter plates, bowls, but also we get these strange things called curse tablets. And these are amazing, there are 130 of these that came out of the spring. And they're asking the goddess for help. So we get thefts of cloaks, thefts of um, bathing tunics, gloves and other personal items. These were written on small squares of lead or um, tin or pewter and they were rolled up or folded and then put in the spring uh, for the goddess. Just as the Roman engineers did nearly 2,000 years ago, engineers today are going to be harnessing the hot temperatures of this spring to help us heat these buildings. What they're going to be doing is placing energy blades into this spring with pipes attached to them. They will draw on that hot water that will then feed the radiators in these buildings and our claw learning centre.